Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, I want to make a really brief announcement right at the top. If you happen to come to StreamYard, um, you're in the to, wrong place. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, to watch this live stream, you can go to uh, Facebook or YouTube, either my Facebook or YouTube channels or Roseanne's Facebook or YouTube channels. That way you'll get the show uninterrupted. You'll be able to chat and do everything else. Um, if you come to StreamYard, we will get overloaded with all the people coming in. So please redirect yourself to those channels. Um, I'm so glad that you all are here. This is the second time that I've done one of these um, live streams for Voices of Children Ukraine, and I'm thrilled that Roseanne Cash is my guest. And I will tell you more about that in a minute, but we're gonna start with the song. This is Barry Walsh over here on my left. I've got five minutes to sneak a cigarette Five minutes to myself Back behind the screen door of Andy's luncheon And I ain't got time to worry about my health My boss ain't Says I smoke myself to death. Andy, he reminds me some of you. Back when you were Romeo and I was Juliet, West Texas Capulet and Montague. I don't think to about you anymore We weren't much more than kids It was nearly 20 years ago I shut and locked that door I've got five minutes Not much time Jesse makes a sandwich if I sleep through supper time. She leaves me on the couch to sleep it off. Now Jesse just turned 17 and she's wild as she can be. And there ain't nothing I can do. Last weekend she ran off to meet a boy in Tennessee Just like I used to run to you And I gave her hell when she came home this afternoon Mascara running down her face Seems like he History repeats itself, and it ain't up to you. And in five minutes, your whole life can change.
Once again, I, I've thanked her uh, at least 10 times, but um, when we did the first one of these, we got an unexpectedly huge, uh, hugely generous audience, a lot of donations for uh, Voices of Children, and that would have been plenty, but um, just after we did it, Roseanne Cash got in touch with me and said, what can I do to help? And I'm so grateful for that. Um, so here we are, and I would like to introduce Roseanne and John Leventhal, who are coming to us from New York City. Hi. Hi, guys. That so, was beautiful. Thank you. Thanks for inviting us. I'm a little jealous of your background. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's pretty great. Yeah. It, um, it's all rented. <laughs> we got to in fact, we got to return it in an hour and a half. Yeah. So. <laughs> As Barry said, it's it's a it's a room raider ninety nine. Yeah. I don't think that's the perfect score. <laughs> um, Gretchen, I have to say that that the thing that people were pouring into StreamYard instead of going to our Facebook and YouTube channels, which is where people should have gone to watch this, I I'm almost certain it's my fault. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think I sent the StreamYard to my friends instead of you know YouTube. Think, this is a I huge think, moment, folks. <laughs> I think Amiya culpa. Wow. Technically, um, that means they could all join us on screen, but we're not going to do that. So. Well, if it, yeah. makes, if, if it makes you feel any better, Roseanne, uh, none of us should be doing this in normal times anyway. Yeah. It's true. all abnormal. True. It's so true, Hopefully. right? But I'm glad we're all here. So over Thank to you. Um, well, that was gorgeous. So from your West Texas to Arkansas, we're going to do this song that John and I wrote. Um, set in the sunken lands of Arkansas where the Cash family uh, settled in 1935. Five cans of paint in the empty fields, the dust Children cry. 
There's five empty cans that doesn't belong there. <laughs> this, is, this is so you can hear some of the applause that's coming, you know, <laughs> that, that you can't hear. I'm just, I was looking at the comments while you guys were playing. There's a lot of love on Facebook and YouTube from, oh, great. from a lot of people. So. I wish I could see comments, but I don't have my glasses on, so. Well, they'll all be there. They'll all be saved. Um, well, I, we have El Toro behind us, so I think we have to do this next song. Um, okay. Apologies right off the bat if the accordion is really super loud, but that's just the way they're made. That's the nature of the piece. Yeah. I threw a rose to the matador, not sure who I was cheering for. My aim was true. I totally forgot the words. This is what happens when you have a pandemic. We're going to start that verse again. I threw a rose to the matador, not sure who I was cheering for. My aim was true, my heart was full. I loved the fighter. I love like only a woman can, a very complicated man. I bound his wounds, I heard his cries, I gave him truth, I told him lies. is made of many things faithful women wedding rings snakes and snails and alcohol his daddy's fist thrown through the wall but he's beautiful when he's in the ring the devil howls the angels sing sparks fly from his fingertips and words like birds fly from his lips some man is lying in the dirt some woman's crying that he's hurt he's not alive without the thrill without the dance without the kill the lights go I knew it when I threw the rose. I come to each and every show, the woman in the second row. I watch them in their ancient dance, and I know. While other demons prance and clown, it's vanity that takes you down. I thought that I could be the one, but I'm just another hanger. Some man is bleeding in the dirt, some woman's crying that she's hurt. But who are we? Without the chance, without the kill And he is bull and matador And I'm the mother and the whore And this is how the story goes I knew it when I threw the road
sure who I was cheering for. My aim was true, my heart was full. I loved the fighter and the bull. That was gorgeous. Thank you. Some something about uh, losing my words today. I'm not sure what it was. I think it was John talking earlier about uh, remembering stuff when he started walking. As soon as I sat down, I started forgetting things, <laughs> like lyrics. As soon as I got up this morning, I started forgetting <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Well, yes, maybe I you mean, don't. No, you I babies. don't. No, I, no, no, no. We're, we're contemporaries, really. Uh, well, not quite. Um, I think we're going to do a Bob Dylan song. Um, but there was a gentleman from England in the chat. Uh, I just got texted by our tech master who said he wants us to introduce our guitars. So I will say first that this is... Uh, Gibson that I just got a few months ago. They made it for me. Beautiful. Can you see that? J185. It's a J185. It's based on my dad's guitar that Gibson did in the 60s. Um, kind of a smaller, more feminine version. And I love it. I've only played it um, a few times to play music live. And your guitar, sir? Uh, I'm introducing my guitar. I have a, it's a Martin guitar, made <laughs> White in the 1950s. Year, 1950s. I think. We'll see how it sounds yeah. on this. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. This is uh, Bob Dylan's uh, "Farewell, Angelina." Hold on, I'm gonna take these off. These are not worth. Uh, you ready? Yeah.
think it all means oh it's so great to hear that song again that's a good one isn't it oh it's so great we just saw uh bob in uh, montgomery alabama our longtime record co-producer is playing in his band now so who's that uh doug lancio oh so nice we went to see we went to see bob and we went to see Doug. You know. um, but it was, it, I think it was the best Dylan show I've ever seen. It's a great band right It's now. unbelievable how, it was just so, yeah. He's 80. Did Dylan remember any chords to any of his songs? He was playing <laughs> piano. He was playing piano the whole time. Oh. And it's, so it's a little harder to tell. There was some, there was some definite jazz going as, on. As Doug, as Doug Lancio puts it, he's got a piano style not dissimilar to Thelonious Monk. You know, it's like, very angular and, and uh, uh, it's, I can't even duplicate it. It's, it, we, it all last, last time we saw him, he played piano the whole set, too. And you're right, there was some freeform jazz happening. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. He and Willie are going to get a duo together and go out and play standards, I think. <laughs> uh -huh. um, well, I want to just tell everybody, you guys have been seeing um, the, the donation links at the bottom of the screen, and they've been posting in the chat a lot. And I just want to tell everybody just a little bit about Voices of Children and what they do and why I chose them. Um, of course, there are a lot of really worthy places that you can donate money to help what, with people with what's going on in Ukraine. But um, for me, once I sort of had a narrowed down list. Um, I, I read some more about what Voices of Children do and I thought um, they're providing psychological support for these kids who are going through the trauma of war. And I really believe that unless you can interrupt that cycle of trauma, it just repeats itself over and over again. And so I, I just felt like this was a really good place to put some effort and some money they also are providing practical support, um, shelter and, and those sorts of things, but they're making sure that these kids are getting therapy to deal with what they're seeing and what they're feeling. And um, they're a really good organization. They are Ukraine-based, they're strict, they're, they're rather small, so your donation means a whole lot to them. It's not a big sort of Red Cross-sized organization. Um, if you wanna find out more about what they do, go to voices.org.ua. There is an English button because the, the site is in Ukrainian, but there's an English button you can read uh, everything on the website, see some videos, that sort of thing. I think Betty Sue has a video if she can get it to play, just a little short one. I'm afraid of crying. I think it's a If they shoot you, it's the most terrible. Я стараюсь об этом не думать, но оно мне приходит в голову. 
Мины бывают очень маленькие и большие. Чтобы не оглушило, тебе можно лечь на землю, закрыть уши и кричать. Я не хочу возвращаться в подвал. Anything that you feel able to donate will be much, much appreciated. Um, and once again, I want to thank Roseanne and John for being here and helping make this a bigger event than it would have been. Um, so Barry and I, speaking of New York, Barry and I were both born uh, just a stone's throw from Manhattan in Westchester County. And this is uh, one of my memories from Westchester County.
sure to get your PayPal or Venmo app out and donate, please. Why are your songs so beautiful, Gretchen? Thank, thank <laughs> you. I, I have to tell you something that I, I really, really don't think you probably remember, but back in the, like at the dawn of the internet, the mid nineties or 94 maybe, I emailed you um, because I was about to sign my first record deal and I was, um, felt like I was entering the matrix and I was very <laughs> afraid. <laughs> and, and I, you were so gracious. You sent me back this really long reply and basically, um, it was a combination of, of empathy and good advice and also buck up, you know, a little bit, of, <laughs> a little bit of buck up. And oh my I just, God. I so appreciated it. You, 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 you basically told me, you know, you're making a choice here, which I, I, I did know, but I just, I, I wanted to thank you all these many years later for, oh my gosh. for actually taking the time to do that, because it meant a lot to me at the time. Well, we're a community, right? If we don't have a sense of community, then yeah, true. what's exactly. the point? Exactly, exactly, yeah. yes. Um, I just uh, have to, again, thank you for doing this. Um, I have so much admiration that you've done this and we're inspired to be here and humbled and uh, we're so fortunate. I mean, this is purely out of our privilege really to be here. So thank you. And um, somebody asked about John's, what did they ask about your triolian over there? You're not gonna play that though. I might, I just might. All right, this is uh, from our album, The River and the Thread. This is called Modern Blue. Went to Barcelona on the midnight train Walked the streets of Paris in the Keep my head down, I keep my 
love that song. I love that song. <laughs> Thank too. you for doing that. And can I just say, um, octaves, octave singing needs to come back. More yeah. octave singing. It's it's so good. Well, yeah, absolutely. I know. Thinks they have to sing harmony, but it, it ain't so. It was good enough for Marvin Gaye. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Anything is, yeah, absolutely. Well, from the sublime to the ridiculous, we're gonna pull the pull the accordion back out. Actually, this is a sublime song, and I can say that because I didn't write it. It's it's um I I was lucky enough to be the first one to record it, but it was written by Tom Russell, and I'd love to claim it, but the songwriter in me needs to be be fair. <laughs> There are ghosts out in the rain tonight High up in those ancient trees And I have given up without a fight Another blind fool on her All the gods that I have abandoned begin to speak in simple tongues, and suddenly I've come to know that there are no. That's what the old ones used to say It's first light or it's sundown Before the children cease their play And when the mountains glow like mission Turn gray like a Spanish wrong Ten thousand eyes will stop to worship Turn away and head for home She is reaching out Yes, my poverty is real. I pray roses shall rain down again from Guadalupe on her hill. And who am I to tell thee?
She is reaching out her arms tonight. Yes, my poverty is real. I pray roses shall rain down again. From Guadalupe. round of applause for these incredible men who are sitting beside us. That was gorgeous. There we are. We lost and that John Leventhal. I mean, it's, uh, I, I told Rose before, I thought we could probably give a little mini course on, on uh, a little marriage counseling thing on touring <laughs> with your husband. <laughs> but actually, you, your response was, was exactly what I would have said, which is, it's actually kept us together. Yeah, yeah. in some ways it has. True. Um, it's I mean, not if, easy. If you can live in a hotel room with somebody, you can pretty much live with them anywhere. Yeah, I, I mean. You have to hire comedy writers, or I do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have yeah. a lot of good routines to um, keep us sane. Oh, yeah. We yeah. like being together a lot. I mean, and we're getting together more than any couple I know, except probably you guys. Yeah. And, uh, Hold we, on, my writers have something about what you just said. <laughs> Let's, see what say. Let's see what they say. Well, um, by the way, I've gotten a couple of texts that the PayPal link is not working. Oh, oh dear. Um, you can always, if that is true, you can always go to PayPal and enter this email maybe maybe sue can put this in the notes um you can enter sales at gretchenpeters.com and you can find it that way if that works or go to venmo uh chelsea's there she just said the venmo works so she says venmo works she says venmo is working i okay. think if you just go to paypal and enter this email sales at gretchenpeters.com you should be able to get to that paypal link all right all right well, somebody asked about this guitar in the chat, so, you know, John aims to please, always, and he's... <laughs> <laughs> I have comedy well, writers, too, you know, yeah. and uh, so he's going to play it. This is uh, a song we wrote together, also from The River and the Thread, and um, this did very well for us. This is called A Feather's Not a Bird. We should do this for two little tiny people Nashville, Tennessee, named Olive and Willoughby. Tiny babies. Are they watching? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Short attention spans when you're babies, but maybe. Drama 
I wish I could have heard that, Barry. It's, it's the one. Uh, the one really bad thing about streaming is that there's this delay that ma yeah. makes it impossible for it. people to play together, which I hate. Yeah, I yeah, do it. Suck. Um, but this has just been so, so, so fun. Thank you guys so much for being a part of it. Um, we've Thank got you. one song from me and one more song from Roseanne and John. And, and there's a truck going by. So I'll just wait till the truck. Uh, life in the big city. Yeah. <laughs> we are downtown in Nashville, and this is just this is just part of the deal. Um, and thank you all for being here on Facebook, on YouTube, everywhere. I, I see everybody is donating. They say the pa PayPal link is working, so Yay. that is good. And um, I um, I want to close with the, my my part with this song. Um, Ah, what do I want to say about this? Um, in 2016, I lost my mom, and uh, she, uh, a couple of times after she died, she came to me in a, in a dream. And this was one of those times, and she was, uh, there was a lot going on in 2016 that was, um, it was December 2016, so it was a pretty dark time, time in general. And she just came to me in this dream and she kind of put her hand on my hand and said, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. There is love that makes a cup of tea. Sometimes they just come from above and you have to write them because they're there. That's the wrong song. That's the wrong song. That's a cup of coffee. This is the right song. There is love that moves a mountain 
There is love that beats a drum There is love that fights for justice Knowing justice won't be done There is love that goes to prison Love that goes to war There is love that rows a lifeboat Towards some shining golden shore there is love that makes a cup of tea Asks you how you're doing And listens quietly Slips you twenty dollars When your rent's behind That's the kind of love shouts its name out loud love that builds a wall but love that stoops to conquer isn't really love at all it's an echo in the darkness it's a well that can't be filled it's an endless hall of mirrors that it only sees itself makes a cup of tea Love that loves both who you are and who you want to be Love that waits for you when you fall behind That's the kind of love I hope you find Thanks so much, you guys. I'm going to give our guests, Roseanne Cash and John Leventhal, the last word, the last song, and thank them again for, for being a part of this. It was really, really, really fun for us. Well, thank you guys. That was beautiful, heartbreaking. Um, we're just glad to be here, you know? Uh, thank you for inviting us, and thanks, John, for the humor. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> and a couple of notes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we got a lot of requests for songs that I haven't performed in like a decade, so we didn't do those. But this was one request that I do do quite often. Um, we're going to close with this. And uh, please, if you can, give 5 10 20 100 bucks. Help these children uh, who are suffering things we can't imagine. Ready? What do you
Thanks, you oh, guys. Oh, man, that was, just, that was just awesome. Thanks so much to John Leventhal, uh, Roseanne Cash, and Barry Walsh, and you guys for being so generous. You can watch this later on Facebook and YouTube. It'll be archived on Roseanne's sites or mine, either one. Um, and you can still donate for a few days, so I'm going to leave the donation links open because I know some people had to work or do something less important than this. Um, thanks, you guys, so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, it. Gretchen. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a good weekend. Bye.